It's healing to be back. It's been a really tough few days. Glad you gave this. It's really easy to leave emotions in a space. And then leave them behind and then not feel them. friends welcome to my channel for a blog that i've talked about doing for a while now the time is finally here um and it's the weirdest timing and so much more than i expected it to be but i had mentioned that it was part of my plans to come back to southern california go back to la and a lot of you guys know and have been along with me in the journey that when i went through my divorce almost a year ago i left so abruptly that I get, did not get to say goodbye to any of my friends. I really did not find closure. Um, so I was gonna take this opportunity to go back to LA and like say those goodbyes, have that closure, revisit my old house, revisit the places that were like really, really critical to me in that season of life and um, thank them for the clarity and just like do my best to emotionally close that chapter and move on. So that's what this vlog is. But it's honestly been a very, been a really tough few days. A lot came out about my ex in terms of the affairs he was having during our relationship and since then so much more has come out. It's been a lot to process. It's reopened a ton of wounds and cut them so much deeper than they were before. Something that was intended to be the last chapter for me. I was intending this to be the closure to move on. Now it kind of feels like I am reliving so much of the trauma but more so because so much was unknown and I was just so oblivious to so much. I was gonna start the vlog today and I've just been honestly so emotional and emotionally drained all day that I was like, I'm gonna start it tomorrow. But tomorrow is gonna be a busy day. I'm going back to my church for the first time since I left and I'm gonna see a lot of people and I just like, like whatever, this is gonna be an emotional vlog. I just need to get over the fact and not try to make it perfect um, and not try to be like eloquent and put together. So I just wanted to cue you in on what's going to happen is tomorrow is going to be my like church closure day, go to my old church um, and maybe get coffee with one of the pastors that was really by my side during the whole separation and divorce and then dinner with my best friends from my church that I haven't seen, didn't say bye to. And then Monday, the next day, is going to be the Pasadena day. Say bye to my old house, go to Sugarfish, which is my favorite restaurant. I actually went there, that was the last meal I had with Brooke, my ex was at Sugarfish. Um, and then also Huntington Gardens at the end um, for like the last month. I went to Huntington Gardens almost every day and I just sat there and tried my best to process it all. So I feel like it would be really good closure to go back to Huntington Gardens. And then Jordy's also in LA for work. Um, the day after that, he has like a radio thing in Malibu. So maybe a fun, lighthearted Malibu day to end off everything, I don't know, we'll see. I'm still gonna try my best to get as much as I can out of this trip and like, maybe now this trip is even more important. I don't know, this trip definitely feels harder now. And I can't help but feel guilty that I'm like, this is supposed to be the closure and I'm like, I feel so in it again. I feel the exact same emotions I was feeling a year ago today when I started to find out about some of the infidelity and now it's a year later and I'm just finding out so much more and, and back here and it's very much reliving it and I didn't intend to be reliving it. I intended to say goodbye to it. I'm probably going to take off tonight, kind of regroup but make the drive up to LA. I'm staying in Culver City, which was my first neighborhood in LA for three years. I'm probably gonna go get tacos at my favorite taco place, which is Low Key at the platform, L-O-Q-U-I, if you're ever in SoCal. And then I'll catch up with you guys probably tomorrow to really kick this off and really see all my loved ones in LA. I love you, thank you for being here. Let's do this. Hello from day one officially in LA. I'm about to head out and go to Mosaic, my church with Jordy, and am going to try to approach, especially today, with as much optimism as possible, because I think today is a fun day. It's getting to see people I love, getting good food. Today's like the people day, and I'm on the west side, which living in the west side of LA, it was, was good memories. It was ages 18, 19, 20. And those ages, they felt exciting, you know, being in a new city. So I'm focusing on that today. Tomorrow, I think it's gonna be a lot harder of a day um, being in Pasadena, but 
today. I'm like, the church I love, the people I love, some food I love. I'm focusing on the gratitude. That's something my therapist told me to do this week is like try to find gratitude wherever I can in all this because nothing is more healing than gratitude. Um, so that's kind of what I'm focusing on. Also, one of the work things I'm filming while I'm here, this vlog is not sponsored, but is like a little free people reel. They just sent the stuff straight here and I'm like wearing what they sent and it's kind of been fun because actually my sister she thought it'd be really fun to pick out and plan the outfits for me so it's all been a surprise of like I don't know what I'll be wearing this trip because Jacqueline picked it out they just sent straight here and that's kind of just something fun and, and different so I'm wearing like a bodysuit and new jeans and then these like lace up little heels to church today let's head on out let's have a good day your word will be enough when I can not hear To the quiet place Your voice will lead me in Carry on all your pilgrims Don't lose heart for the journey is long At the end of your wanderings Lift your hands and play Carry on, all oh, you pilgrims. You'll see the grace that He giveth and giveth and giveth again. So we left church, and it was a, it was honestly really. I feel like I was telling Jordy it was healing to remember that I have that much community here that like knew me in that season and loved me and stand by me and also didn't see so much that I didn't see. Like it makes me feel a lot less stupid to have these people that were really wise also just be mm -hmm. like we're shocked I, yeah i feel the same way yeah and it was awesome to get to introduce them to jordy and then be like they're all great is, i loved it this awesome. is yeah it was healing and now we might go get a coffee with one of the pastors in pasadena but i'm starving so i was trying to kind of play it cool and i was like let's go to this cool burger spot called monty's and i was like explaining some of the things and I was like, oh yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely vegan. <laughs> I was going to try to hide it and see if you even noticed because it's like... I'm gonna, I, look, I love it. it. I love veggies. It, it's hard to tell it's vegan. I'm I'll excited. And they have dairy-free shakes. And I'm going to do a shake and a dog pile with fries. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. This is what I normally get. <laughs> they call it the dog pile. And it has both fries and tater tots underneath. And then it has the patties and so many different sauces on top of it as well. Like... Oh, it's, uh, I'm trying to get this with my left hand. I am not good with my non-dominant hand. But apparently, now they have gluten-free vegan chicken tenders on the menu, and that's new. And we also got a coffee shake and a double-double. Thumbs up or thumbs down? How is this vegan? Look at that. Fried chicken, you're eating fried chicken. It tastes so real. Maybe I'm not a good judge, but I also don't get fried things very often, like battered and fried. That's quite like real chicken. I always thought that the mascot here looked exactly like Max. Does that not look exactly like Max? But I definitely wouldn't have been able to hide the fact it's vegan because it's everywhere in here. So we are able to get coffee with one of the pastors that was the most like by my side during, during the end. Um, but she's based out of Pasadena, which is why she was very much in my life. And tomorrow is intended to be the Pasadena day, but she asked if we could meet her for a quick coffee. So we're driving into Pasadena right now and we're gonna have a little bit of time to kill. So I'm like, one thing that we could take off the list um, for tomorrow is Amara Kitchen is the coffee shop that was closest to the old house that I lived in. It's technically Altadena. They're closed on Mondays. So I was like, we can at least go in there and I can show it to you because that at the end was like, it's where I went a lot to pretend like I didn't live in LA because <laughs> it felt like a small town in the mountains. We're gonna like double coffee shop dip um, but wasn't fully planning on coming to Pasadena today. And we are doing it. We are here. We are here. Doing it. We're literally going to another coffee shop in 10 minutes, so just an, ex an excuse to come in here. I got muffins for breakfast for the morning. One good feeling is that I'm here with this guy. That makes all this even better. Glad you're here, Chris. Mm -hmm. yeah. breakfast. Just a little update. I got literally one clip at the coffee shop. 
here it is. But we are now on Fairfax to get dinner with some of my very best friends at a place called John and Vinny's. And even just like navigating LA and parking in LA, we were just saying like, it's stressful. How did I do this for six years? The, the, the cortisol is so much higher when you like are fighting for your life to get a parking spot. Weather's great though. Weather's great though. That, that is one thing that nowhere could beat except for the West Coast. Good morning. Um, I don't remember where I ended the vlog yesterday, but went to dinner with those friends. It's weird to like kind of be swinging between like gratitude and being thankful for this community I have here and like how willing they are to show me love and compassion and then also just kind of being in like trauma city and navigating new feelings while trying to find closure with old feelings. And today is the Pasadena day. And the two big things that I think are gonna just feel really heavy is seeing my old house, my old neighborhood. Um, and then going to Huntington Gardens and I woke up just stressed like I think that I've realized I don't hold my emotions as emotions very often I hold it in my body and I hold it as stress I feel like my body is flaring like autoimmune stuff lupus stuff and I know that that stuff gets flared by stress and emotions and I think I'm just learning a lot about how I navigate emotions and it's been weird to be like okay I can literally have like moments of like gratitude and joy and like a happy dinner with my friends but at the same time I'm holding it in my body and I feel it and it's weird that those can coexist simultaneously but I'm like trying to have good moments and then feel guilty for having good moments and then swing into bad moments again I don't know it's I'm just trying to share how it feels. Um, but today's gonna be a big day. The thing I'm looking most forward to is sushi at Sugarfish today. That's gonna be like a little highlight. The thing that'll be just fun and yummy today. Um, let's see what today holds. I've made it to the Pasadena Whole Foods, which is where I did all my grocery shopping. Um, this was like very much my happy place. And I stopped to get a coffee, but Jordy said, Hey, I think we should get married Moko, which is my, my nickname. Uh, my family all calls me Moko, which I know means not. But I think we should get married Moko some flowers and either like leave it at an important place, like the house or the, or the gardens, or just show her that she's loved and that she is um, cared for and that things will get better. And I thought that was a beautiful idea. And I told him, I was like, honestly, in this moment right now, I don't know if I could tell her things will get better because like I, after this week, I don't feel confident that things will get better. And he was like, I'm confident things will get better. Things already are better. You have moments where you smile, you have moments where you're yourself. And I was like, you're right. So getting a coffee and I'm gonna pick out some flowers for married Moko and take it to the house. I'm here. It's a little yellow house and I kind of get the impression nobody lives here anymore because there's nothing. There's nothing on the porch. really easy to leave emotions in a space and then leave them behind and then not feel them. I asked Jordy if he could leave me here for a little bit so I could just process alone. God, I hate feeling feelings. I really do. I really hate feeling feelings. But there's even so much just in this driveway. So many terrible memories that nobody knows. The thing that I think about when I'm here, it's so silly but it's literally an Olivia Rodrigo song. It's the song enough for you. I tried so hard to be everything that you like just for you to say you're not the compliment type. I knew how you took your coffee and your favorite songs by heart. Stupid, emotional, obsessive little me. I knew from the start this is exactly how you'd leave. You found someone more exciting the next second you were gone. You left me there crying, wondering what I did wrong. You always say I'm never satisfied, but I don't think that's true because all I ever wanted was to be enough for you. You say you broke my heart, but you broke much more than that. I don't want your sympathy. I just want myself back. And that's exactly how I felt moving out of this house. That's exactly how I felt. And like being back, that's just going through my head over and over and over again. But I love this street and I love this neighborhood and I love to walk it. And I'm going to let myself feel these feelings, but then I'm going to call Jordi to come back and 
I'm gonna not vlog. Take time to try to find that closure and to find the beautiful things about this neighborhood. I want to see if my favorite dog neighbor Cooper's still here. I'm gonna go try to pet Cooper and I want to do the homework that I told my therapist I'd do which is like feeling gratitude for this chapter and for being able to get out of this chapter and it was really hard to survive it but I did it and it made me who I am. Gotta let myself feel those things and just like take a break from trying to put it into words for the camera. Find that closure before lunch with Jordy. Got to Huntington Garden a little bit before. Um, you have to like buy a ticket by the hour and a little bit of time to kill, but I am so thankful that I can use this time to just be alone and nap. If there's one thing I felt consistently, it is just exhausted, just absolutely exhausted. And I just, I've been taking a lot of car naps the last few days. I'm gonna take one more car nap and try to muster up the, <laughs> there's a lot of walking at Huntington Garden. Um, I wanna show Jordy the pretty parts, but I wouldn't go to the pretty parts when I came every day. I had a membership, so I'd come every day and I'd go to Turtle Pond because it was in the back corner. It was probably the least pretty part of the whole garden, and so the least number of people would go there. And I would sit there for like hours at a time, and I would just like watch the turtles process and call my mom and talk to her for sometimes hours and process with her. And so that's the part that I think is most important to, sh to see and to show Jordy. So there's going to be a lot of walking. I'm just going to take a few more minutes of a nap. Since I started missing you Cause since you've been gone I thought that I could move on And maybe learn how to actually love someone I'm not sure I can love vlog camera in the car because I didn't want to carry it around all day but we've made it to Turtle Pond as I called it uh, it's really just a koi pond and we finally have it alone um, <clears throat> we were talking through all the conversations I had here and this was really the spot where I would realize that it wasn't gonna work mm -hmm. and it's the spot where I was like I have to figure out what my next steps are I have to figure out what my plan is from here because I don't, this is not going to be my life for much longer. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I wonder what Mikel a year ago, I have pictures in my camera roll from a year ago sitting here, would think about me now. Mm -hmm. Think about you being here. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to say to her? <sighs> don't listen to lies. Don't make excuses for someone hurting you. And fight for yourself. Stand up for yourself. Trust your gut. Mm -hmm probably the biggest one just you got listen to your mom mm -hmm. I spent hours talking to mom on this bench mm. on this bench and I should have just listened to her the first conversation when she said mm. you're not being loved or supported or protected or cared for wish I listened to her it's healing to be back to watch all these fish good morning it's the last day in LA and I woke up this morning and I'm like, today is going to be a good day. Today is going to be a healing, peaceful day. I'm not gonna, you know, relive anything. I'm just gonna have a good time. <laughs> and that's what I'm determined to do. <clears throat> the plan is, as Jordy has a radio interview that's like en route to Malibu this morning. So we're gonna do that and then just keep going all the way to Malibu and have a beach day, maybe a late lunch or dinner at Malibu Farms, which is the restaurant on the pier. And just like, no social plans today, a little bit of work for him, I'm not gonna work. I'm just gonna try to take this as like my peaceful day. That is my goal today. Peaceful day, we're about to hit the road. Hopefully there'll be beautiful sights, a little bit of sunshine, good things about today.
Roxy Jordy. I told him I wanted to go find a, a place with shade, sit on the beach, just like be able to breathe. And he found this private beach in Malibu that's like on a cliffside. So there's a lot of shade even in the middle of the day. So me, lupus girly, can be protected but also still have a beach day. It's pretty great and I'm very thankful. I never thought this would happen, but I might have just been gluten by a straw. Okay, sweet Jordy got me that coffee. <laughs> I, so bad. No, 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 no. It could be gluten-free pasta. We don't know. There's, it, it has to be. It has to. So I took a sip out of the straw and I was like, this is the weirdest straw of my life. And then I was like, is this pasta? And he does this. It's pasta. <laughs> you know what's funny is I was like determined for this to be like a good lighthearted day. And this is hilarious. And this is like kind of exactly what I'd hoped for, something yeah. to make me giggle. Me getting sick would not be me giggling, but that has to be gluten-free. You want me to ask? No. You don't want me to ask? I w if you don't want me to ask, I will not ask. Ignorance is bliss. I just won't drink anymore. That sounds good. That's a good plan. Today was needed. It was what I hoped for, and I'm thankful for that. And it's the last night in LA, so I'm just gonna probably do laundry at the Airbnb that I got because there's a washer dryer and pack up and do all that kind of stuff. But I wanted to say thank you for being. <laughs> this video had a lot of ups and downs, so thank you for being here for it and um, hopefully being understanding of the feelings and the the journey. I'm proud of myself for getting through a lot of it and um, sticking with my plan, even though a million things tried to ruin it <laughs> from me having to delay my trip because I was sick to all the stuff happening online and just making it so much harder. So I will be back in Texas soon. I have a couple days in San Diego. I might vlog. I might not. I'm just kind of trying to take the pressure off myself for a little bit and we'll see. If that's the next vlog or otherwise, I'll see y'all in Texas, but I love you. Thank you for spending this week with me. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talk until you like Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I want